guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to do a diy ombre effect on this lovely dress that i have on so the reason why i decided to actually dye this dress was because it had stains all over it i don't know where the stains came from i don't know how i got stains on it and the places where their stains are i do not know how they got there so Instead of throwing the dress away, I decided, hmm, maybe I can dye this dress. So, I'm actually going to film this dress as I go along. So, if you see this video, that means that the dress turned out great. So, you guys, as you can see, this is the whole dress. Long sleeve. It has a mess. Mesh. Oops, almost fell. <laughs> it has a mess. Midriff in the middle, so you can see the middle part the back full full zipper in the back this is how it looks before and i'm gonna try to zoom up on uh, up for you guys to be able to see the stains you probably can't because they're probably coming up white on the screen but actually up here there's a gray stain here there's a gray stain and down here hopefully you guys can see me pointing down here there's a gray stain so we're gonna turn this whole dress into a ombre effect hey guys so these are the items that you will need to dye this outfit so any material that you're going to use so I'm going to dye this dress that I showed you guys earlier you're gonna need some dye I'm using the liquid dye but you also can use the powder dye both of them will work perfectly fine Salt, you use, you put only just about a half a cup of salt in with the dye. And then I think you use vinegar if it's, I think like silk or rayon. Um, but I'm going to use salt because this is cotton. And then you just need a bucket to use to dye the material in. You're going to fill your bucket up with hot water. Then once you fill your bucket up with hot water, you're going to take your salt and you're going to pour the salt in there. I'll say probably about a half a cup. I'm just eyeballing it, you guys. So I'm pouring in probably about a half a cup of salt in there. Then you're going to take your dress and you're going to dip it all in the hot water just so the fabric can be wet first before you dye it. Then you're going to take your dye and put your dye in the water as much as you would like, which I didn't show you guys. And then as you see, uh, I wanted to have the whole dress a gray color, so I dipped the whole dress in the dye. And you're going to continue to keep doing this repeatedly. I dipped it about three times until I got the color I wanted at the top. And then to start getting the ombre effect, you're going to start dipping the dress section by section. So I got the whole dress one color and then I started only dipping it to halfway of the dress. And then I just continue to keep dipping, keep dipping, keep dipping. And then I moved to only dipping a quarter of the dress in. And that's how you get the ombre effect. Okay, here is the final product of the dress after it's been sitting for 72 hours so it has that nice ombre effect where it's really light at the top and it gets darker at the bottom and then you see at the bottom I've decided to put some crystals on there so I'm going to show you guys how you can put the crystals on so here I started to put some crystals at the bottom. I wanted to lay them out first to see how I was going to like it. And you can just get any bag of crystals. I just got these. It's about 150 that comes in the back. They're 7 millimeters big. I just had these sitting around the house. But you can get these like at Joann or any type of craft store or fabric store. And then I got some liquid stitch, which is 
some fabric glue that I'm going to put behind the crystals and put them on there to be able to stick. You guys, this is so hard to do like with one hand. So, this is how I decided to do the design on the dress. Got them all laid out. So, now I'm just going to glue them all down into its place. So, got it all finished. Got it all glued down. And then, I also did the sleeves. Put some rhinestones on the bottom of the sleeves. She looks so cute. 